Kayaking goes a lot further for me than just a stroll across the water. Kayaking's done a lot to shape who I am. I've paddled just about all the different types of discipline. My forte was wild water racing, which is like a downhill sprint through rapids. But I've also raced the outrigger, you know, the Molokai Challenge and marathon kayak races and Olympic sprint racing also. I was at the Olympic trials and trying to get to Seoul. That didn't quite work out, but during the four years that I did that type of work, I had incredible coaching. And, and when I moved to California, I'd just gotten done with that bit of my life. And I noticed all these recreational paddlers out in the ocean who were paddling, and they definitely could use a lot of help on the techniques that I was taught as an elite paddler. And thought, well, let's try it. So we put together a class, and the class has just been really well received. The motivation for this video came directly from the Brent Wright's Forward Stroke Clinic that I teach one-on-one. -on -one. So many people would like to have a video of this, and my class is a video-based class anyway, so I know the power of video and how well it works for a teaching tool. It seems like the recreational paddler is every bit as serious as the elite paddler about understanding how to best move their boat forward across the water. And a lot of the questions and a lot of the concepts in this video are direct results of recreational paddlers relating to the elite paddler technique. There's no reason that only the elite paddlers in the country should have the benefit of this experience. Hi, my name is Brent Wrights and I teach a class all around the country that talks about the proper mechanics of the forward stroke. Today we're in Monterey Bay. And one of the deals that I like to do when I start the class is ask people why they're taking this class. And I get a lot of different interesting answers, and I want to share a few of those with you. A lot of these reasons come from my students over the last nine years. I sort of keep track of, of what their main reasons for taking the class are. The first and foremost reason that people come to the class is because they want to become more efficient paddlers. And that's the, that's the majority of what this class is about. It also covers a lot of different aspects besides just efficiency, however. It, it uh, talks about how to avoid injuries because we try to align all our joints so they're ergonomically in a line and there's not a lot of extraneous movements that cause different wrist injuries and different elbow injuries. Some people come with, with wrist uh, problems, some people come with elbow problems, and they want to try to understand if there's a way they can mechanically take care of that situation. I also get a lot of students who've been paddling basically a short time, and they just would like to avoid learning incorrect habits. And so they want to learn how to do the forward stroke correctly from the beginning, and actually those students are typically the ones who pick it up the quickest because they have the least habits to unlearn. Another reason that people come a lot of times is they're planning a trip to Alaska, or they're planning a trip to, to uh, Hawaii, or Mexico, or Ireland, and they uh, are going to do a long adventure paddle, and they want to brush up their skills and they want to be sure they're as efficient and powerful as possible for that journey. A fourth reason is to provoke thought while paddling, which was one I heard in a class a couple years ago that I liked a lot because every stroke you take you can be thinking about exactly how to become more efficient with each stroke. Learning all the different aspects of doing a proper forward stroke is something you can almost drop into like a meditation in a way and just touch each little part. The forward stroke is probably the most used and least taught stroke of all the different kayaking movements. 